What's going on guys, Gaspard here. Today I'm going over some easy games on the PS Plus Extra Catalog. I'm not going to go into too much detail for each one, but this will give you some ideas for some short games for you to tackle next. So let's get started. What Remains of Edith Finch is a short but sweet narrative adventure game that never outstays its welcome. You play as Edith, a young girl returning to the Finch family house as you uncover secrets and relive the past. You explore this haunting location filled with memories and stories and the narrative itself is incredibly gripping. With great voice acting and music, this game has to be one of my favourite shorter experiences. This platinum will take you only around 2 hours to obtain everything, so it's a must play. The Gardens Between is an adventure puzzle game where you control two friends and must use each character's abilities to progress each level. The puzzles are never too challenging and the gameplay is pretty fun. I did find the narrative to be quite hard to follow as there is no talking throughout, so I did feel a sense of what's going on in this game. But it does tie in together nicely at the end to provide a satisfying conclusion. With a runtime of 2 hours, if you like puzzle games, then this one is definitely for you. Untitled Goose Game is another puzzle game, but this time we're playing as a troublesome goose. Cause havoc across the levels and enjoy this funny game for exactly what it is. Some good old fashioned fun. If you just want a good laugh, then this game will do the trick. Now who would have thought being a goose would be fun, yet here we are. Nothing challenging here, and this platinum should take you around 3 hours to complete. Undertale is a pretty new addition to the extra catalogue and it's a delightful indie RPG which has received numerous awards and is honestly the best game on this list in my opinion. A great art style and a story set this game apart from so many. Play as a pacifist or wreak havoc, but you don't actually need to finish this story to obtain the platinum. However, I do recommend seeing this brilliant game through until its end as it's well worth your time. Either way, this will take between 5-8 to eight hours depending on how much you are looking around, but download this one today and enjoy. Tacoma is a short space station exploration game that I personally really enjoyed. Learn about the secrets aboard the spaceship Tacoma and uncover clues as to the mystery of this vessel. You can speed run this platinum in around 30 minutes, although the game does have a few problems with freezing at certain points. It's manageable and quite easy to fix, but I do have a guide up on the channel if you need any help, so go give this one a try and let me know what you think. The next game is The Artful Escape, an adventure platformer. Now this game doesn't offer much in terms of gameplay, but the story packs quite a punch and the musical score is delightful. The world itself is one big spectacle and feels like you're watching a crazy fireworks show from start to finish. The themes of finding yourself are explored here, so any teenage musicians out there, this one might resonate with you a lot. With a runtime of around 4 hours, this one is well worth your time, so I recommend you go check it out. Next up we have Alex Kid DX. A remake of a classic Sega game, this features heavily updated visuals, enhanced soundtracks and a nostalgic experience for those who love their old school platformers. I personally have very fond memories of Alex Kidd from the Mega Drive collection, and so I was pretty happy to learn of the remake's existence. The world is colourful and bright, and really looks good to the eyes. A simple and easy platformer, with a runtime of 5 hours, so it would be silly for you to not check this one out. Minute is a black and white action game in the style of Retro Zelda. Each life you were given 60 seconds to progress and then you return to a safe place. This game is really fun and I would recommend it to anyone. Now there is a trophy for finishing this in a minimal amount of runs, so you might need a playthrough to work everything out, but because of the concept and the gameplay I really enjoyed this. I would definitely play a second game if it ever came. Now this personally took me around 4 hours, but it can take you less time if you use a guide, so tackle it as you wish. Omno is a traversal puzzle platformer where you use the environment to your advantage to navigate this world. There are some beautiful set pieces here and this is possibly my favourite soundtrack I've heard in a while. The gameplay unfortunately does leave a lot to be desired, but as you progress your traversal methods do improve. Now whilst this isn't my favourite game on this list, this is still a fun and melancholic experience with a short runtime of around 4 hours. Deliver Us the Moon is another great space adventure with this one really up in the ante. Not only can we explore the space station itself, but we can now step foot on the moon. This is a great narrative adventure and a very short one at that. The game has also spawned a sequel which I am yet to play, but if this one is anything to go by then I'm absolutely sure that the next instalment is going to be a real treat. This one as well can be completed in around 5 hours, so why not give it a try. So like I said, I just wanted to keep this short and sweet so I can hope you can find something to play here. Thanks for watching guys, don't forget to like and subscribe and join our Discord link down below. Take care, Gaspard out.